Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Sensei Mod 602, as well as how to install one of the many themes to choose from. If you'd like to see this ROM in action before installing it, please see my full HD review video. Before we go any further, please make sure you're on Gingerbread version 4.5.602 and rooted. The easiest way to get there, if you're not already, is to SBF to stock Gingerbread 602 and then root the phone using the one-click method. Links for the step-by-step -step tutorials are in the description and on the screen. Now that you're on 602 Gingerbread and rooted, you'll want to download the ROM zip file from the description and put it on the root of your SD card for easy navigation. When I say root, I mean in no folders. Please take a moment to do that now. Once you're done with that, you want to go to the market. Download and install Droid 2 Bootstrapper. Open the app, tap Bootstrap Recovery, tap Allow, and then tap OK, then Reboot Recovery. Once you're in Clockwork Recovery, you'll use the volume keys to scroll and the camera button to select. Making a backup at this point is strongly suggested when changing ROMs. Scroll to Backup and Restore, hit the camera button, make sure you're on backup, and hit the camera button again. Once that's done, scroll to Wipe Data Factory Reset, hit the camera button. Scroll to Yes, hit the camera button. Now scroll to Wipe Cache Partition and the camera button. Scroll to Yes and the camera button again. Now scroll to Advanced. Hit the camera button. Scroll to Wipe Dalvik Cache. Press the camera button. Now scroll to Yes and the camera button again. Scroll to Install Zip from SD Card. Hit the camera button. Scroll to Choose Zip from the SD Card. Hit the camera button. Press the top volume key to get to the bottom of the list and find the zip file that you downloaded. Hit the camera button. Scroll to yes and hit the camera button again. Once that's done, hit the back button and make sure you're on reboot system now. Hit the camera button. The phone will now reboot into your new ROM. If you get stuck in a boot loop for longer than 10 minutes, you'll need to do a factory reset and stock recovery. If you're not familiar with that process on Gingerbread, please see my step-by-step -step tutorial linked in the description and on the screen. Now I'm going to show you how to install a theme. Visit the link in the description to download one of the many themes. Put it on the root of your SD card before going any further. After you do that, open up Droid 2 Bootstrap app, tap Bootstrap Recovery, tap OK, then tap Reboot Recovery. Once you're in recovery, scroll down to Wipe Cache Partition, hit the camera button. Scroll to Yes, hit the camera button. Now scroll to Install Zip from SD Card, hit the camera button. Scroll to Choose Zip from SD Card, hit the camera button. Scroll to the bottom of the list and find the theme that you downloaded. Hit the camera button. Scroll to Yes and the camera button again. Once that's done, hit the back button and make sure you're on Reboot System now. Hit the camera button. Once the phone is done rebooting, you should now be enjoying Sensei Mod 602, themed to your liking. Since my review of this ROM, I've had more than one person ask me where I got the Android Fallout wallpaper. I'll have a link in the description for a few wallpapers that go with the stock theme. If you enjoy this ROM, please make sure you support the developer and consider donating. Without guys like Mobile Sensei, your Droid X would not be as awesome. If you have questions or you want to get updates on my videos, you can now hit me up on Twitter at RageXMods. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.